All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use a tool called Handbrake for Mac. Now, I have a video here that we're going to be using, and it's currently at 154 megabytes. So let's see how, how small of a video we can get out of that. Now, basically, when you open Handbrake, it actually opens your computer's directory, which is very helpful. So I'm going to select my video right here. And the first thing I like to do is actually change my file name. I like to have the two copies, my original and my compressed version on my computer. So that way if I ever need to go back to the original quality, I can. So I'm going to highlight this section right here between the dot extension and the blast forward slash. This means that this is set up to be on my desktop and it will be named as the file name compressed video. Now we want to make sure we leave this dot mp4. That part is really important because that's what tells your computer how to read the file. Now, we also want to make sure we select Web Optimize, especially since we're going to be uploading these videos online. Now, under the Quality section, we have an RF of 20 set right here by this little slider. We're actually going to change this to 25. The recommended settings for high definition videos are for 18 to 20, and the recommended settings for standard, standard definition videos is 20 to 25. Now, I also like to select Average Bit Rate and the select two pass encoding, but I leave the bitrate alone. I never change that. So basically this will just run the encoding twice and it'll compress your video even further. Over here under encoder options you can slide this preset anywhere down from really slow to ultra fast. What you'll be able to do with this will compress your video. It'll take a little bit longer but it'll compress it to a smaller size if you select a lower number. I actually usually leave mine on very fast or faster. So today we'll just try faster. Now under additional options, I think it's helpful to type in RF equals 4. It sets your reference frames to 4, and that helps with compressing your video. Now under the audio section, we want to make sure that our bitrate is somewhere between 128 and 192. I don't recommend going between 128, since that will make your video uh, video's audio quality subpar. And anything above 192 doesn't really help to compress your video to a smaller amount. You can also change in the picture settings area some of the width some of the dimensions of the video and any cropping that you would like to do. I'm going to leave this one alone today. So by just changing a few of these settings we're going to see how how effective our compression tool is. So once you start here you'll see that it's compressing here and it's on pass one of two which means it's going to have to do this twice. Um, for videos smaller that are smaller like this around 150 megabytes for me it only takes me one or two minutes per pass. Now, depending on the file size, the video could take a little bit longer. For 2 gigabyte videos, it might take you, you know, 10 or 15 minutes each for each pass. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and skip to the end. Alright, so it looks like our, our video here is done. And it took me about 4 or 5 minutes, so that's not too bad. Now let's see what our final video file size is. And as you can see, it says 24 megabytes. So down from the original size of 154. I'd say that is quite a big difference. Uh, around 90 percent, a little bit less than that, maybe maybe 85 percent file distance or file compression ratio here. So that's a really good way to get your videos down to an appropriate size, so that you're not using too much space on some of those online accounts, and that way you'll be able to upgrade or upload these videos into Folio Tech without having to worry about the videos being too large for your account. Alright, so I hope this video helps you, and if you have any questions, you can always email our support line or call us here, or there's also plenty of other handbrake tutorials online.